What will be the Ethereum merge impact on cryptocurrency miners? This is by uh, News BTC. They say miners of both Bitcoin and Ethereum are still thriving regardless of the crypto winter. The revenue generated by Ethereum miners surpassed that of Bitcoin miners according to the 2022 record. The growth of miners is quite surprising given the increase in the cost of electricity, but all that might come crashing down very soon. There's growing concern that the upcoming merge will put Ethereum miners out of their jobs. This can be traced on the effect of the assets merge on the operational mechanism of the network. Get some water. Drawing from arcane research information, it was recorded that in 2022, Ethereum mining has been realized as a revenue of up to $11 billion. This figure is a bit higher than that discovered in Bitcoin mining. According to the research, Bitcoin miners have realized about $10 billion within the same period. The research data pattern is not different from that of last year. At the time, Bitcoin mining generated up to $17 billion. But again, the revenue figure generated was about $1 billion lower than that of ETH miners, which was at $18 billion. Bitcoin mining has been recording higher revenue compared to that generated through Ethereum mining. This was recorded as of 18 months back. Since then, the turn of events has been steady in the favor of Ethereum miners. The higher gain in ETH mining revenue is a result of its ecosystem versatility. However, there is about to be a change that could cost the jobs of Ethereum miners. That has to do with the upcoming Ethereum merge. This event aims to see the successful merging of Beacon Chain and Ethereum mainnet. Achieving this objective will trigger the move of ETH network to proof of stake. Ethereum miners know that the merge completion will end ETH mining. All also, all transactions performed on the ETH network will be taken up by validators. Moreover, based on the status quo of the proof of stake blockchain, these validators will be rewarded for every effort they make. There is an option for ETH miners to migrate to Bitcoin mining, but there is also a problem with the idea. That has to do with the mining system of both assets. While Ethereum miners use GPUs to perform their mining process, Bitcoin miners, on the other hand, use ASICs. Uh, this is also, maybe this article doesn't, isn't going to give us what we need. Um, I'll tell you that right now that we've already covered all of this. I thought maybe they would have some better insight, but it is clear that they do not. First of all, they have this completely conflated. The reason they can't migrate is because of the actual algorithm, not because of ASICs versus GPUs. Because technically GPUs can mine Bitcoin, but you don't mine Bitcoin with GPUs because the difficulty of the network is too high to be profitable. In addition to that, Ethereum does have ASICs on the network. So the amount of research put into this article is pretty poor and I do not consider this to be worth continuing going through. Um, let's talk about the, let's just talk a little bit though <laughs> about the impact of the merge and that is going to be obviously the amount of people moving off and the uh, capabilities of other networks being able to handle that. So with GPUs, you're in a better position than you are with ASICs. If you have Ethereum ASICs, you have one coin to move to basically, and that's going to be Ethereum Classic. Now, luckily with Ethereum Classic, like we've talked about in the past, we do have a huge investment coming in from Antpool. Now, that could be a significant investment uh, uh, that ends up pushing Ethereum Classic into a position to handle en enough of the ASIC miners to continue on, but it will really come down to the usability and how retail views Ethereum Classic, which is still up in the air and to be seen. Uh, at the end of the day, I think that this is the way it plays out. I think that there will be a huge flood of GPUs and ASICs on Ethereum ASICs specifically onto the used market and most miners will shut down. But thanks to the way that blockchain functions and the way the market functions, eventually everything becomes profitable once again. So you have a couple options. You can sell off your Ethereum equipment right now, Ethereum mining equipment, and then buy back in when it's used and everything is crashing down presumably if that all goes through as planned in September, which is yet to be seen as well, right? Or you can hold, hold, 
you can hodl all of that silicon and equipment through all of it. Wait, you turn it off if you need to because you're losing money or whatever for a certain period of time and wait until the dust has settled. And then you have the equipment to turn back on and start mining once it recovers. The market will adjust itself out, right? It doesn't need Ethereum to do that. Yes, there will be a lot less miners mining, but if you are one of the few that continues to mine through that, then you have gone through basically the worst shift, the most impactful shift in mining that's ever happened and you are continuing to do it. And what I have found in life, just personally in general, is that the longer you continue to do things, the more success you will gain, even especially when things get really difficult. Does that mean go out and buy hardware right now? No, it doesn't. It's just basically those are your two options. Sell the equipment, buy back in if you want to continue or just hold it and wait till the dust settles. And then there will always be something more profitable because the market will adjust itself out. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.